This video contains sensitive information, so sorry for the blurred regions. Recently, Microsoft made enhancements to Outlook and introduced a new version. Typically, to review your emails, you would access the Outlook app and check your inbox. However, with the introduction of the new Outlook, you'll notice a button in the top right corner of the old Outlook app. This button allows you to switch between using the new Outlook or sticking with the old version. There is, however, a potential issue. If you opt for the new Outlook, you may encounter an error with your email. The specific error message that users are experiencing is, this account is not supported in Outlook for Windows due to the license provided by your work or school. You can see that my email isn't functioning with the new Outlook. Even though that email has multiple admin roles, it still doesn't work. Currently, I'm switching to my other admin email, the IT one. And as you can observe, it's working smoothly. How did that happen? If my IT email can function on the new Outlook within the same department while my other official email cannot, there must be a bug that Microsoft needs to address. It's worth noting that my email operates seamlessly on Outlook on the web in the old Outlook app, but not the new one. Here's the solution I implemented to resolve this issue. As an admin, I accessed my problematic email and changed its name to another one within the same domain. For instance, if my original email was my name at department.gov, I changed it to my last name at department.gov. You can request your IT team to do the same for your email name change, and don't worry about your inbox, it will remain unaffected. I modified my email twice. Initially, I altered it to a different name within the same department. Subsequently, I tested it on the new Outlook, and it functioned properly. Then, I reverted it back to the original name. Surprisingly, it still works even after returning to the original. While it's not necessary to change it back, I prefer to do so because I don't want my coworkers to lose contact with me. As you can see here, I am finally able to log in with my original email. You can observe that I am currently using the new Outlook without any problems. And that's about it. I hope this video is useful for you. If you find it helpful, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.